Hi guys, my name is Maddie, and if you guys don't know who I am, then that means you guys probably aren't subscribed, so go down below and hit that big huge red subscribe button. Click the like button so I can get likes on my videos, because like, isn't that what all YouTubers want? Anyways, <laughs> today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. This Q&A is going to be kind of weird, because you're going to see a lot of the names that asked questions repeated. Because I told my friends to go spam my video I posted on TikTok and ask me questions. So, I'm going to be answering those questions today. I'm very excited. <laughs> so, we're going to answer the first question. The first question is not a question. My friend Kaylee asked this. She said, shout out the Be Well Band. This is band video. Basically, my school has this band video and they're supposed to get views and stuff. Just go look up Braswell We Are Band video and watch it and drop it a like. The next question, she asked it to. This is Kaylee. What made you the owner of? That's what she said. Okay, so this is an inside joke that I'm probably gonna get yelled at for answering, but um, there's this inside joke. If you guys didn't know, I'm obsessed with The Office, and I have another friend that got me crazy obsessed with The Office, and we have like this thing where it's like, that's what she said, and like we say that's what she said all the time. Like basically, I'll, sh I'll show you guys how obsessed I am with that's what she said. Okay, right, say I'm texting this random person, and I put down G. It says that's what she said. Basically, you're having this war one day, and it was like, whoever says, like, that's what she said the most. I, I don't know why we were doing that, but, like, apparently we just wanted to say that's what she said a million times, because we're stupid. So, <laughs> we had this, like, war about, like, who said that's what she said the most, and I was like, oh, I could just, like, go and, you know, put in, uh, that's what she said to, like, like, little, like, keyword things that you put in text. So now, anytime I type G... It says that's what she said. So we say that's what she said a lot, and I he used to say that he owned that's what she said, and I was like, no, it was Michael Scott. And then this my other friend got involved because all I said was that's what she said to her because that's kind of what all I say about like anything. And I said that's what she said, and she's like, can you just stop? Like it's getting annoying. Like I like spammed her phone because she kept saying gross stuff. So I just said that's what she said, and she's like, who like told you to do this? And I was like, it's my thing. And then my other friend, I'm just gonna say his name, Caden, he like, I don't know how he found out. Oh, I was I was showing him something else because like we had like a completely different conversation after like that's what she said fight. And I sent him screenshots and he's like, no, you do not own that's what she said. And we had a full out like fight. I don't own that's what she said. Caden doesn't own that's what she said. Kaylee doesn't own that's what she said. Some random Ben out of the world doesn't own that's what she said. Michael Scott does. So if you think you own that's what she said, you most definitely do not because Michael Scott does. The next question is from my friend Jewel. Most of these people are at my school, and if I'm exposing you and you don't want me to say your name, oh well, because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> she asked, um, what made you want to do theater? So, there's two questions, so what made you want to do theater? Um, I, if you guys see, I'm in theater right here. There's two right there, and I have like five more posters up here, and I have trophies back there for theater. Um, I started theater when I was about maybe four years old and how it happened is I walked into my mom's room and I'm dramatic about every single little thing. If you're my friend, you know I'm dramatic about every single little thing. And I think like I got in trouble or something and it was like something stupid and they were just joking like I couldn't take jokes when I was four obviously. So like you're such a drama queen, you should do theater. And then my mom found a play, it was Willy Wonka and the Char Chocolate Factory and I got my first audition. I actually got my first callback too when I was like six as Veruca Salt, and but I didn't get the role. Someone way better got the role and they were older than me and they did amazing. But I played an Oompa Loompa, which is basically a role that like any like little kid at first would play. So I got an Oompa Loompa and then I just did theater again. I did another play called Anne of Green Gables, Aladdin, and then I just went into theater at my school, and I really love it. Um, all I'm gonna say is if you are thinking about going to theater, and I, if I'm like leading in that direction, theater is very is a very tough crowd to be involved in, because like rejection, if you're horrible at rejection, do not do theater, because I'm, personally, I'm really bad at rejection, and I, I will literally like sob over a part that I really wanted, but it takes guts to be in theater, and you just gotta know, well, even if I didn't get this part, it's like, whatever, I can still be involved, you know, do crew and stuff. But yeah, that's why I joined. This is my next question. Um, this is from another girl at my school. Her name is Laura. Love her so much. If y'all are watching this video and you ask questions, I love you all so much. And thank you for spamming my comments with random freaking question. and I'm pro questions, and I'm probably going to expose myself, but thank you so much. Um, Laura asked, favorite memory from freshman year? If you guys didn't know, I'm a freshman right now. A bunch of people think I'm like 
somebody thought I was a senior in college, so love you for thinking that, man. Favorite me memory from freshman year? My favorite memory from freshman year was probably homecoming. Homecoming was so freaking fun, y'all. Like, I had the best night of my life. It was so fun. Like, I just ran around with my freaking, like, six-inch pumps, and then I threw them across the freaking cafeteria because I was done. There was so such good food, and then, like, all my friends were, like, at my house getting ready and stuff, and it was so fun. Next one is from Caden. Was just talking about him. I told him to ask questions, and I don't know why he asked this question. I think it's because Michael Scott asked this question once again. We're Office fanatics. Like, love The Office. Um, he asked... Who do you think you are, and what gives you the right? To make this video, I think, I think I have the right because it's a free country, and if I just went up to the president and was like, oh, can I make a YouTube video? I'd be like, yeah, whatever, like, go do what you want, and who do I think I am? I think I'm Maddie, but, like, you can call me whoever you want, like, I have multiple names right now. Go check my bio to see what those are. Um, next question was from Joanna. She's also a person from my school. She asked, does your family support your YouTube channel? I think they do. I always post, I try to post clean content on here because I probably know they're watching. So, hi mom and dad if you're watching. And I know my brother watches this because he has notifications and all he does is watch them in case like I'm talking about him and stuff. Next question. These are all from my friends. My f one friend and she's asking all these questions. I'll tell you when they stop, but these are all from my friend KK. We've been best friends for about like six years and she's amazing. But, thank you. And I'm about to expose myself because literally all these questions are about exposing myself. And she is a smart one because that's what Q&As are for. The first question she asked is, what are your grades in school right now? Once again, I'm exposing myself. I'll tell you guys my grades. They're not, they're not amazing, but I'm gonna tell you them because I'm kind of proud of them. These are my grades. I'm gonna read them to you. In English, I have In Algebra, I have an 81. In Biology, I have a 90. In World Geography, I have a 92. In Dance, I have a 94. In Orchestra, I have a 100. In theater, I have a 98, and in high school, in a one, I have a 100. Okay, next question. Who do you like? I like a guy named John Kravinsky. He's freaking amazing. I really hope he asks me out soon, but I love him so much. I'll answer the photo of him. Why did you start a YouTube channel? I started a YouTube channel because I have been obsessed with YouTube for, like, the longest time. I love Netflix more now because it's just my baby, but, um... I've been obsessed with YouTube for such a long time, and I was like, I want to make a YouTube channel. So I started watching several people's YouTubes and, like, how to, like, start a YouTube channel, like, do, like, like content and stuff. And I then decided I wanted to make my own YouTube channel, and I started making videos, and then I started editing, and it's getting better and better, I think. But, um, that's why I started. I just wanted to make a YouTube channel. I didn't start for, like, any specific reason, but yeah. That's what I. That's why I wanted to make a YouTube channel. Who do you like better, Penny or Trevor? If you guys didn't know, I have a dog named Penny. I have a dog named Trevor. That is Penny right there. There's a painting of her right there. I have many photos of Penny in my room. Actually, I'm gonna go get her. She's sleeping. She's probably my best friend, and I love her so much. I love her very, very, very much. She is basically my emotional support dog because when I cry, when I literally will be sitting in my bed, crying in my tears, she will just like like me, and she'll make everything better. And then I have another dog, his name is Trevor, he's a dachshund. I don't- I- I- I, fa I have- I have favorites. She is my favorite, and Trevor will never, ever, ever be my favorite. She is my favorite, she will always stay my favorite, and nothing can change that. And then this is the last question. Um, this is not from KK, surprisingly. This is from a girl named Sister Maddie. Oh yeah, Sister Maddie, we're both sisters, we're sisters together, we have the same name. <laughs> Um, she asked how old are you? I am 15 years old. I'm about to be 16 in like six months and I'm so excited, man. I'm gonna be 16. That big 16, I'm gonna have my sweet 16. Kaden, if you're watching this, you better throw me a party. You, you better. I'm gonna keep bothering you. Anyways, those are all the questions that were asked right now. Anyways, that's the whole video. This video is going on 19 minutes. I hope I can cut it down. But anyways, love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, drop it a like and subscribe. Love you guys so much. Bye.